Hello teachers, it's wonderful coming your way once again. You know, materials can be described as the friend of the teacher. In a modern day classroom, if you teach without materials, you do the learners a lot of harm. As you can see, I have materials for the introduction of my lesson, the ones for the introduction of the concept itself, and then materials for the consolidation of the concepts that I'm going to teach. Last week, I taught a lesson on blending, how to put sounds together. I used the learner blend game. The learners became the object of our lesson. And so these letters and their sounds were used. M, O, U, T, A, and the rest. Now, because I'm going to introduce a new lesson today, I'm going to use this as the anchor. So I'll play the learner blend game again, just to revise the previous lesson. Today I'm teaching a consonant blend, b, b, and then l. These materials prepared using Manila cards will be the ones that I'm going to use. The learners, after the sound has been introduced, I will give a number of examples, and then afterwards, the learners will be encouraged to do the same. So this will be used to build the lessons, the lesson, and help them come up to the words with the bell at the beginning, that is the initial position, and the ones in the middle, the media. Having taught and having done this lesson, I need to consolidate the concepts. And so I play a game called the fishing game. And this game, the object of the game is that the learners will go fishing for words with a sound thought. As you can see, I have a bowl in front of me. The goal of the bowl is to serve as a sea. So I have my fish going down in the sea. Remember, when you go fishing, you don't only catch fishes. Sometimes you catch polythene bags and the rest. So remember to add non-fishes. It is to help them identify this idea and also to help them remember that we are also polluting our, our seas. Why? That is the reason why sometimes we catch these polythene bags. So this will be placed in front of the, the class. The learners will come fishing. They dip their hands into the bowl and whatever they catch is a fish. The object is to pronounce the words they catch. If they're able to do so, they earn a point. If they, they catch a non-fish, they put it back into the sea. So for instance, they catch this. This is a fish. It is in consonant with the, with the concept thought. Blue, they will take it and they pronounce it. If they catch peep, this is a non-fish. They will put it back. Okay. Now, we made another provision for learners who may have difficulties moving to the front of the class. So we have another version of the Go Vision Fishing, which will be sent to them right in front. This is what we did. We basically put this masking tape at the back, and then we fixed them here. So they, they will pick and then pronounce. If they pick this, this is also a noun word, just like was done in the bowl. And so they come and pick, and then sometimes you catch a rotten, a, a rotten fish. So they catch this one, they, there's no word. They put it back and continue with the game. Good, this is a fish caught. And so they pronounce the word. Can we all do the, pronounce the word? The word is black. For black, the, the concept taught today is at the initial position. The bow is at the initial position. And so we teach the concept in different situ uh, situations. The sound at the initial position, the sound in the middle as well. But why should we play this game? Learners are built to play. And so the idea of playing already excites them to learn. They learn unconsciously. They do so without 
uh, having to think about so many things because play comes naturally. So we use this one to help knock the concept in so that at the end of the day, they go home remembering the game and connecting the activities they did to this. Again, one thing you should never forget is that whilst playing the game, you must debrief any game that you play. Questions, how did you find the game? Was it difficult playing it? This is to give you feedback as a teacher. Would you like to play the game again? What new words did you learn playing the game? How did you collaborate with your friends? Some of them are collaborative. What are we doing? We are going back to our curriculum. We are ensuring leadership. We are ensuring collaboration. And then we are also ensuring through this, uh, ensuring differentiation, that they will, all of them will not do the same activity because all of them do not have the same abilities. Yeah. Uh, thank you, and see you next time. <music>